As the procession drove past St. Stephen Church in Boston's North End, Betty Fuller just couldn't hold it together anymore. It's a different world today. A campaign volunteer in five elections, she came clutching her favorite picture. He just seemed like such a um, warm, approachable, gracious person. Not perfect, but good. That was the story from Hyannis to the Kennedy Library. Men like John Barnett, an Irish immigrant, who stood on an overpass in Milton, Massachusetts. All I can do is just uh, come here and stand here for a few moments and tip my cap and wave a flag. And it's my way of saying I respect him and uh, I'm paying homage to uh, him and uh, all his family. Down the street from the State House in Boston, Melita and Carlos Arredondo waited. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. We personally as a family have been impacted by Sen Senator Kennedy in so many ways. Their son Alex, a Marine, died in Iraq. When Senator Kennedy met with them, Carlos mentioned his application for citizenship, tied up in red tape. Till I spoke to Mr. Senator Kennedy about it, and two months later, I received my citizenship through him. It's those little details of kindness that so many constituents around Massachusetts know. Is it those little details that have you out here today? Basically. And more. And more. And more. When the Arredondos started a scholarship fund to honor Alex, they got a letter from Senator Kennedy wishing them well. Enclosed was a personal check for the fund. Katie? Jim Axelrod, Jim, thank you so much.